Last time, I took you along with me to pick up my Tesla Model S. Now, let's take a look at how I prepared for its arrival by installing a Gen 3 Tesla wall connector. Let's go. For first-time EV owners like me, daily driving an electric car requires some forethought and planning. While you can now cruise past gas stations, you'll need a convenient charging solution to keep your battery topped off and to keep you out of a hitchhiking type situation. There are a handful of good options, and I'll go over those in a bit, but for my needs, the Tesla wall connector was the best choice. The wall connector is available from the Tesla online shop and can sell out from time to time, so be sure to plan ahead if you need one. It's available with either an 8.5 or 18 foot cable. I chose the 18 footer. Three days after clicking on the order button, this stunning box showed up at my door. Let's open it up. This is the Gen 3 wall connector. It's compatible with model S, 3, X, and Y, works with any home electrical system, includes Wi-Fi connectivity, can be installed indoors or outdoors, and offers up to 45 miles of range per hour of charge. Inside the box you'll find the charger with its attractive tempered white glass faceplate. Attached to the charger is a new thinner and lighter charge cable. Also included is a quick start installation guide and a mounting template. You'll find the mounting hardware attached to the charger's wire box, as you see here. I also downloaded the full instruction manual from Tesla's website so I could have a better understanding of the features and installation details. After reading through that a couple times, I decided it would be best to have the pros install this beast. You know I like doing things myself, but this was a little outside my comfort zone and I wanted it done right the first time. I got a couple quotes, but ultimately chose the electrician that I found on the Tesla website who had good reviews on every source I checked. After talking through some options with the electrician, I decided to mount the wall connector here between the garage doors, which gives me the option to charge in either bay and match Tesla's recommended mounting position. Also, this charger will be installed on its own 60 amp breaker, which will give us the full 48 amp and 11 and kilowatt output at 240 volts. Nice. While we're in there, I also asked the electrician to install a NEMA 1450 outlet on a separate 50 amp breaker just below the Tesla charger. I did this in case we get a second electric car in the future and need to have two chargers going at once. The NEMA outlet should work with most every electric car via an adapter of some sort. After finalizing everything with the electrician over the phone, a week later a two-man install team came first thing in the morning and got right to work setting all this up. Most of you are probably like me, kinda uptight when it comes to someone else doing work on your car or house or whatever, but these guys were such pros and you could tell that they had installed a bunch of these around town. So after they finished the job, and after the last of my white paint dried, here's how it all turned out. I'm super thrilled with the end result here. The install is really clean and exactly what I had in mind. My final step was to commission the connector as described in the manual, which was easy to do. Okay, let's try it out on my Model S. If you're new to home charging like me, you'll find that it's super easy. You just grab the charging handle, take it over to the car, press the button on the handle to open the charge port, plug it in, and you're rolling. As charging begins, you'll see the charge port change from solid blue to flashing green. Over on the wall connector, you'll get this very cool green LED sequence that looks like electricity flowing down into the cable. Once underway, you can keep tabs on your progress by either opening up your Tesla app, or by getting in the car and looking at either the driver's instrument panel or on the center touchscreen. So far I'm seeing between 36 to 37 miles per hour of charge on my car. A Model 3 or Y should see around 44. 
So theoretically, if I ran my battery down to 10% and wanted to charge it to full, which is 348 miles, that would take around 9 to 10 hours. That's a pretty unlikely scenario for me. Most days I'll just be doing a top-off charge from, say, 50 to 80% or so. When charging is finished, you can either get a notification on your phone via the Tesla app, or just walk out to your garage and take a look at the wall connector, which should be flashing blue like this. Then you can walk up to the car, press and hold the button on the connector handle, and remove it. After a few seconds, the charge port door will automatically close. So that's my experience so far with the Tesla Gen 3 wall connector. It's definitely not a required item for every Tesla owner, but it does become more essential if you live in an area like me where the nearest supercharger is about an hour away. I also don't have a charging option at work, so this is the only way I can charge my car, and the additional speed of the wall connector is nice to have compared to the other popular home charging option, the Tesla mobile connector. The mobile connector is included as standard equipment with all new Teslas and includes a 20 foot long cable with interchangeable adapters that can be used to plug into different outlets. It comes with a NEMA 515 adapter which fits common household outlets. This will charge your Tesla in a pinch but very slowly at 2 to 3 miles of range per hour. The next best option is to plug into a household dryer plug also known as a NEMA 1450 outlet. Some houses have these in the garage or you can have one installed at a reasonable cost. Using the mobile connector in this Tesla 1450 adapter will get you between 20 to 30 miles of range per hour, which is a great cost-effective home charging solution. I've seen some creative ideas online where people hang or attach the mobile charger to the wall too. So to summarize, here's a quick breakdown of the most popular home charging options and their speed. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Also, don't forget to come hang out with me at any of these spots. I'd love to hear from you. So with that said, thanks again, folks. We'll see you next time.